Welcome basketball fans, home of the Jaguars, where we have the basketball tournament starting. First ball game today, we'll be having Monterey Peninsula College. The Lobos coming with a record of 10-1, and one, playing the Siskiyous Eagles, coming with a record of 5-8. and eight. We have a three-day three -day classic. The, the, the opponents are all predetermined. This will be game one. Game two today, we'll have the host team, San Jose City College, will be playing Ohlone College. That's at 5 o'clock. In the 7 o'clock game, we'll have Alan Hancock playing Porterville Cows. Introducing the starters right now for the for the Lobos. I'm sorry, for Siskius. Head coach for the Eagles is Kyle Heath. North Cal Sports TV covered the Monterey Peninsula tournament a week ago, so we've seen Monterey Peninsula play about five or six times now, so that's a pretty good idea. And then this will be the first time I personally have seen College of Siskiyous play. So we'll find out real quickly whether they man, they zone, whether they like to the fast break, those types of things. I know Monterey really centers their offense around Parker Hunt. They get the ball down to him inside, and he makes good decisions, whether it's passing it or muscling it up, doing his power action. So, again, early on, a few minutes, we'll be telling you what we see. NCS TV bringing in this exciting basketball game, covering California Community College Athletics as well as high school sports. Monterey controls the tip, and they start with an alley-oop. Not able to get the dunk, but caught the ball. Cisco is playing straight man-to-man -man defense. There it is, inside of the big man. He's going to probe inside, reverse. Nice left-handed hook. Shoots both right and left-handed hooks. Extremely effective around the basket, Parker Hunt is. Monterey also playing man-for-man -man defense. There's an open three. Parker Hunt on the block. Inside, let's see what they do. They swarm down.
Shot clock winding down. Going to have to make something happen. Does a little bit of a floater. Matthew Gallagher grabbed that rebound. Driving in and drawing the foul. Is A.J. Bentor. He has two free throws. Makes the first. Early 3-0 lead for the Monterey Peninsula Lobos coming in with a record of 10-1. and one. Off to one of their best seasons in a long time. Great job by head coach Blake Spearing. Assisted by Mike Bellagara, Daniel Eiff, and Addison Vaughn. Three-pointer by Dylan Neufeld. Like Siskiyou is going to a sort of a soft man for man. Almost looks like a zone, but it's man for man. They're not really pressuring the leads. Swarm down, he'll kick it back out. Grabbing the rebound, Jason Lewis. And I'm sorry, 23 is a Nick Dorr. Good no call by the official. Blocked inside. Pointer by Kenneth Brown. The assist by Hunt. Like I said, they're going inside to Hunt. And if you if you swarm down, he's going to kick it out to the open man. Monterey Peninsula had the scouting report on that one. They did a double stack on the left block. They're going to swing their ball to the forward on the left wing, and then they do a little pin down screen trying to get it right inside. Little baby hook, and by the, he's not a tall one, but Landon Ellis did it. He caught it and took it up really quick. Let's see if we can check his height here in a second. He's not tall, but he did his job down in the post. Too big and too strong inside for Siskius. Another bucket by Hunt. Block shot, out of bounds. First sub in for the Lobos. Coming in is number three, Charlie Costa. Costa, Costa with an O, excuse me. We'll just call him Charlie, play it safe. Block shot, nice outlet pass to get it going. Got the high post pick coming up here. Number two will pop to the top. Right down to the end on that one. They got off the shot. We're not able to score on it though. There's an open three. Maybe a foot outside his range, but so far it looks like the size of Monterey Peninsula's Causing Cisco just a little bit of problem as far as getting their shots off. There's an open three. 
Didn't box out. Close out was too hard by Dillon. Allowed him to get his own rebound. Call a foul on number three, Tanner Jolly. It'll be out of bounds under the basket. Open in the corner. Short. Siski was playing a five out offense right now. I think they called it 50. Nice little backdoor play. Beautiful bounce pass. Taking it up and scoring is Cole. I think the foul's going to be on. We'll see here. They'll put it up on the board here in a second. I think they called it on the big man, Parker Hunt. I'm not sure if it was him. but Yeah, they called the foul on Hunt. Checking in for Monterey. Chase Titus. Six two freshman out of Aurora, Colorado, Chase Titus is. Penetrated the middle and jumped and passed it across his body. He was able to be read. A little bit too crowded. It's tough to penetrate, pass the ball across your body off the dribble. It can be read pretty easy, but I think it was more just the fact it was too tight. Easy steal. Battling, getting the rebound. There's an open three. I think he can make that one if he's open. I thought so. Dylan again for a three pointer. Big man caught down around the baseline area. Parker Hunt, the ball came to him. It was way down at the other end, but obviously he went out of bounds. They double teamed him immediately. The ball was turned over. Coach Heath called a special play. Anytime they call the play, I can hear the numbers, but I'm not going to call out the number and let the coaches do their own scouting reports. Even though I know they use NCS TV to watch games, I just don't think it's fair for me to call out the number and help them out that much. Steal, turnover, here we go. Lobo's on the run. They pull it back out. See if they throw the ball inside. Three pointer right off the bench. Chase with the three ties the score 11 all. Step back, not there. There's going to be the three. Got his feet set. Still a little bit too far out. He's made the two on the left side. Two over on the right side, about three feet behind the line. A little bit long, a little bit short. Oh, in and out, rolled around. Oh, I don't know about that. Forced the action, the ref called the foul. Dylan just dribbled real hard right into... Charlie Costa, Costa, and then they call the call the foul. Pump fake, got him up in the air. Three-pointer by number 11, Cameron.
Nice little pass inside. Hunt not able to capitalize. High post area. Let's see if he makes this one. Nip. Oh, going to get on board. Good hustle. Two for five in a three-point line. He's had three of them on the right side. Not able to capitalize on those. Two on the left side, right around top of the key. Made them both. So, obviously, Dylan's going to keep shooting those threes. Siskiyou's, again, playing what we call soft man-to-man. -man. They're not pressuring the entry pass or what we call the leads. So, it almost looks like a zone. Snatching the rebound. Nick Dorr. <laughs> Long shot, no good. Here come the Lobos on the run. Three pointer. <laughs> Sanders for three. They're, they're calling it close out on the dribble, on the dribbles. Not really penetrating yet, but out, outside on the perimeter. It's two times, number two for the, for the Eagles. Dylan has drawn fouls. I think both times it's been against number three, Charlie Costa. So he picks up his second foul. Got to figure out what the ref's going to call. They're going to call that bump. Don't bump them. Shot clock winding down. He had to step through and throw up a basically a basketball prayer. The prayer was not answered, unless you're a Lobo fan. Lobo's ball out of bounds. Close game, obviously. 14 all with 9.16 to go. See if anybody can break open here a little bit and expand the lead. Got the charge. Pass and then kept on running. Stepping in and picking up the charge is Nick Dorr. We just call him Nick. I'm not sure if it's Dory. It's D-O-R-E. Of course, Dorr is D-O-O-R, but if it was, we'll just say it's Dorr. Anyway, his name is Nick. He did a good job. He's got a couple boards. Just threw a charge. Almost stolen, but not quite. You know he's going to shoot. Oh, in and out. Just missed a three by Padilla. Slasher Supreme. I've seen these team play a number of times. He loves to slash. That would be Matt Gallagher who likes to slash and drive hard to the bucket. Gets his shot blocked. All right, now they're going to try to take it down inside. Oh, a little overload, of the old triangle offense. Point guard pass and went to the corner. Tried to overload. Pass was stolen going into the post. Malik Ross. First timeout, 30-second timeout by the Eagles. We'll be right back in a moment. Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you'll experience what we have to offer soon. All right, welcome back. We are in San Jose, California, on the campus of San Jose City College, home of the Jaguars, for their 
basketball tournament, the Percy Carr tournament. First game has Siskiwis against Monterey Peninsula. Lobos are up by two with just under eight minutes to go. They come out with a little bit of a 2-2-1 press. Not really an aggressive one. Oh, they leave him wide open. He gets his feet set. Number 23, he works it. Grabbed the rebound and then just sort of held it. Didn't, didn't chin it. Open in the corner, not swinging it quite quick enough. Going to come back with a right hand hook. Running out of time. They had to shoot the fadeaway. Good defense by the Lobos. Nice Euro step. Quickness on that one. Jab left, came back to a strong right hand and scored the bucket. Malik Ross scored the last two buckets on penetrations. Put the Lobos up by four. Ten seconds, turnover. You put that soft 2-2-1 press on, the guards sometimes don't attack and they, because they're not being guarded, but they see a press. And then all of a sudden, there's only six or seven, six seconds, six or seven seconds have been used, and now you have to force the action. He tried to split the double team, lost control of his dribble. Anytime they put on a soft press, you need to you need to basically force them to double team. You pound it up a little bit, pound it up a little bit. Try to get at least top of the key extended, closer to half court. You can't afford to be just dribbling it, dribbling it softly back there. Here we go. See, they're playing man, soft man, man. That means they're playing way off people. They're not really trying to pressure their leads. Nice attack. Kenneth Brown. On the reach. It'll be out of bounds under the basket. Let's see what they're going to play. They go sometimes four flat, sometimes box set. Let's see what they do. Looks like they're going to go four across the baseline. We call that, well, no, they got one guy going up at the elbow area. He's not sure where he's going. Now, pops out. They do a little screen, but the guy they're screening for is pretty short. He catches the ball under the bucket. He's not going to do much. Lost control of it. Slipped off his hand on that little baby hook. Nice pass on the tie by the Cisco player to his teammate. Uh-oh. Monterey starting to expand the lead right now. It's three-pointer by Kenneth Brown. His second three-pointer gives him eight unofficially for the first half. Only one rebounder going in for the uh, for the Siskiyous, the Eagles. We've gotten a few offensive boards, but only getting one guy going to the boards. You're not going to get a whole lot of rebounds. There he goes on the drive. Malik Ross again. He's he's pretty much eating them up on dribble penetration. Oh, what a move. <laughs> Drives in and draws the foul on Parker Hunt. <laughs> That's second foul on Hunt with 5.06 to go. We'll see whether or not Coach Spearing leaves him in or not. My guess is he'll bring him out to protect him. They've opened it up a nine-point lead. Don't, can't really afford to get him his third foul. Let's see if that's who's coming out. Yep, yep. Parker Hunt coming out. Not a real good foul. Better off let that guy just drive in and score. Know, know your value to the team. 
you know, obviously you want to play good defense, but you also have to know that you're the your main inside player, you're the main post player. You don't want to get yourself in foul trouble and have to sit the last five, but he does. Here we go. Three-point play, close it back to eight. Here comes Driver Supreme. One good penetration as there's another, so the Lobos come right back. And Jason Lewis pump fakes and drives in and draws a foul, so he's going to get rewarded with two free throws. And I don't see him attempting a whole lot of free throws for the year, so. So whatever he does today will be his percentage. I think he made one out of two there. I was checking something and actually didn't see it all. Yeah, yeah, he made one of them. Dodged a bullet on that pass. Nice kick. Jump ball, 23 involved in it again. He's scrappy. Good job, Nick. Out of bounds underneath. Looks like going to go a box, box offset. They're all on the left side. Let's see if they screen four for a shot. Yep. Yep, four was on the right block. He went and set a screen for the player on the elbow and then was receiving a screen in a corner for a three-pointer but when he ran over there he stepped out of bounds we'll be back in a moment after word from our sponsors coming to san jose city college is one of the best decisions i've ever made because of city college i became a better athlete and student city college has some of the best sports facilities i've ever seen as jaguars we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom at City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. Welcome back. 27 to 17, Monterey Peninsula has opened up a 10-point lead against the Cisco Eagles. Game one, three games today, brought to you by NCS TV, so don't forget, three, the 5 o'clock game with the host San Jose City Jaguars will be playing Ohlone College. And then the 7 o'clock game, Alan Hancock from Santa Maria will be playing Porterville College from Porterville, California. Six good teams, three good basketball games. All brought to you by NCS TV, so stay with us all day and see some good basketball. If you have to go to work or do something, you can go ahead and pull them up on YouTube later and watch them all. There's a nice little basic high pick, roll down to the bucket, layup. Nice play by the Eagles. Throw. Drove the left baseline hard. Tried to do the old one-handed pass with his left hand to the right corner and was we called errant, which is also the big word for turnover. Jason Lewis on the turnover. Going to take a rest for a minute. See, they're playing that soft man press. Took about seven seconds. So now you're getting down to about 20 seconds before you could even set up your offense. A lot of teams do that to put on a... Press. It's not real aggressive. Oh my gosh, he got up in the air on that one. 22 out of control. Cole drove hard, jumped to pass, and had no one to pass to.
A little push off at the right wing there. Oh, there's another. <laughs> he got away. He got away with two pushes. Yeah, pushed in the back. They caught him on the third one. It was a different player, but Monterey Peninsula player pushing from behind. I believe that's their seventh team foul. So Siskius will go to the line, shoot a one and one. As we've explained often in the past, for those that aren't aware, the first six fouls, common foul, non-shooting fouls, take it out of bounds. Seven, eight, and nine are common fouls or one and one. A common foul is, is a non-shooting foul. So that was a common foul. So this is team foul number eight. So he's going to shoot a one and one. Makes the first one. On the flip side, Siskus only has three team fouls, so it doesn't look like Monterey's going to get in the bonus. Why would they only have three team fouls? Because I've been telling you pretty much the whole time they're playing a soft, contained defense. They're not really pressuring. So the only time they would really foul would be if a team penetrates or maybe on offensive rebounds. And he had a charge. The ref didn't see it. At least they didn't call the flop. Trying to double from behind. He dribbled away from it. There's the double skip. Nice drive. Cut off the angle and scores the bucket. Dylan pump faked. And then when he drove, he started to, to cut off the line of the defender so he couldn't come from behind. Sometimes you call that you put him in jail. It's a terminology used. Basically, you don't let the defender catch up with you. You end up putting him on your back. Cisco's getting back into the ball game. Right in front of the rim. Guess who? Oh, but he went up a little bit too quick. Did a nice pump fake, but then was a little bit hesitant about what was going on behind him. This is going to be a layup. Nice penetrate kick. Just about a minute to go in the ball game. I mean, in the first half. Siskius was down 10 a minute ago. We're getting back into it. A little bit too short on that three from the corner. Cameron missed the three. He made one earlier. Didn't make that one. Lefty shoots it. No good. <coughs> Checked out my man Kenneth Brown. And that shot went up. He didn't look like he wanted to attack the boards to get a rebound. There's the shooter to leave him open. Uh-huh. Dylan, another three. <coughs> so they were down. <coughs> it was 27-17 a minute ago. Cisco has scored 10. Monterey only two. So 29-27. Interestingly enough, all this happened when Parker Hunt went out of the game with that second foul that was a little chippy foul the coach wasn't real happy with they're going to have a chance to tie it if they can push it they got five seconds oh in and out 29 27 half time first ball game of the san jose city coach car classic don't forget plenty of ball games today the next game five o'clock san jose city playing Aloney, 7 o'clock, Allen Hancock playing Porterville. So we'll take about a 14-minute break for the halftime, and we'll be back for the second half of the Monterey Peninsula Lobos against College of Siskiyou's Eagles. We have more than just a destination in mind. When you trust us to mobilize your valued people in your organization or in your life, we take the importance of that job to heart. From the moment we first connect until you step out of our vehicles, safety and service are our top priorities. We are a family-owned business with an ever-growing community of dedicated employees and clientele. We operate and compete alongside the big names of our industry, 
while preserving the principles and core values of a personalized high-end boutique transportation service. Our humble beginnings have only strengthened our core values and have made us appreciate those who helped us get where we are today. We love and cherish our local community and take every opportunity to give back. The Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you'll experience what we have to offer soon. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs>
have more than just a destination in mind. When you trust us to mobilize your valued people in your organization or in your life, we take the importance of that job to heart. From the moment we first connect until you step out of our vehicles, safety and service are our top priorities. We are a family-owned business with an ever-growing community of dedicated employees and clientele. We operate and compete alongside the big names of our industry while preserving the principles and core values of a personalized, high-end boutique transportation service. Our humble beginnings have only strengthened our core values and have made us appreciate those who helped us get where we are today. We love and cherish our local community and take every opportunity to give back. The Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you'll experience what we have to offer soon. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs>
we have more than just a destination in mind. When you trust us to mobilize your valued people in your organization or in your life, we take the importance of that job to heart. From the moment we first connect until you step out of our vehicles, safety and service are our top priorities. We are a family-owned business with an ever-growing community of dedicated employees and clientele. We operate and compete alongside the big names of our industry while preserving the principles and core values of a personalized, high-end boutique transportation service. Our humble beginnings have only strengthened our core values and have made us appreciate those who helped us get where we are today. We love and cherish our local community and take every opportunity to give back. The Bay Area is our home and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you will experience what we have to offer soon. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because of City College, I became a better athlete and student. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've ever seen. As Jaguars, we have the opportunity to excel on the court and in the classroom. At City College, I've had the chance to play for amazing coaches and teammates. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. <laughs> Welcome back to home of the Jags, Jaguar Gymnasium, San Jose City, California, for the Percy Carr Classic. Game one, 29 Lobos, Monterey Peninsula College Lobos, 27 College of Siskiyous Eagles. Siskiyous fought back into it at the end of the last five minutes of the half. Lobos had opened up a 10-point lead and actually had the... Cisco's had a chance to tie the game right at the end of the half, but the shot went in and out. So it's a two-point ball game, 29-27, second half ready to start. And it will be Cisco's ball out of bounds. I think they're triple-checking to make sure that that is correct. It appears that it is. Throwing the ball in bounds will be number two, Dylan Neufeldt. Has 11 points, three threes, and a nice little driving bucket for 11 points unofficially at the half. Here we go. Timeout number three. Cisco has had a little bit of fumble on the ball. The player called the timeout immediately. So that'll leave them three timeouts. We'll be back in 30 seconds. That wasn't much, but we'll be back quickly. Here we go. Back here, the ball just got thrown in bounds. That was not a strategic timeout. That was to save the turnover timeout. He was able to grab the rebound on that one, but again, the size factor made him shoot a tough shot. Driving hard and drawing the fouls, Kenneth Brown had eight points in the first half. He'll go to line to shoot two. So 
always nice to get some of those early fouls if, if you're a Monterey player to get those and be able to go to the free throw line. If it was just a common foul, reach, charge, blocking, whatever, it would just be out of bounds. But you accumulate towards that one and a bonus by going to the free throw line. Helps. He nails them both, puts them up by four. Gives him ten points. Kenneth Brown, that is, has 10 points after making both free throws. Open three. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. tough call. Grabbed the rebound. The referee called him for a travel. I honestly wasn't looking at his feet, so I don't know if he traveled or not. But tough. Again, I think the, the, the Cisco's players are a little bit bothered sometimes by the size and athleticism on the inside. They've had a handful of rebounds that they just have not been able to capitalize on. Uh-oh, and then I talk about him being a slasher, and he goes out there and hits a three on him. Matthew Gallagher with the three-pointer. I believe they're going to call that on Parker Hunt. Yeah, he gets his third foul again. Not a real good spot to get the foul. And I guess there's no good spot to get the foul when you're the, pretty much the hub of the offense, the main inside player for Monterey, and you reach in and pick up a third foul with 18 to go in the second half. I'm sure the co coach will leave him in now and hope he doesn't pick up his fourth. He's going to come back to the left hand. Yeah, that's for Park. got to be careful he doesn't get his fourth on an offensive rebound battle. Is he going to get his ball? Oh, they called him for traveling. Parker Hunt could have picked up his fourth on that one. Their special play. They run that play to perfection. You usually get that power layup. That time it was deflected out of bounds by Siskius. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, Kyle Heath and Siskus has run that same play, so they probably have seen that play before and able to defend it. Monterey play they just executed and not able to get. Pull up jumper! Landon Ellis! Dribble rub, handoff. Oh, there it is, right inside. Executed to perfection. Screen was set by Kenneth Brown. Parker stepped in and just made a wide open layup. They did a dribble rub, handoff out front, and then did a post exchange screen back to the right side for a layup. Penetration and dish. Good job by Siskius. Gonna go 2-3 zone. Coach is calling out two. I know it's a 2-3 zone. And I stepped in through the charge. We had the reach before. Tanner stepped in to take the charge, but they called the reach in first prior to the charge by Cole. Go, 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 
Nice. Oh, <laughs> what was that? You got to be kidding me. My goodness, I haven't seen something like that. The, the ball was laying right on the ground. Had two, three Cisco players looking at it. It was bounced right about knee high. And they didn't grab it. So you know what? A.J. Bentar goes, I'll take it. Drove in, and the lefty gets rewarded with an and one attempt, but the free throw's not able to go. That was a tough break for Cisco. I know the coach, Keith, was not real happy with that one. Elbow flare. Good, good a closeout pressuring the shot. Matt Gallagher ran out, and the ball hit the side of the, it was weird, it hit the side and then ended up going way up by the standard, hit the shot clock and everything else. But good intimidation factor by closing out aggressively. Oh, there's a little special play. Brings right up the top. He's wide open in the paint. Off wing. Good basketball play. Feed the high post. Feed what I call behind the line or the other side or the weak side of the defense. He's wide open for three because the help side's all on one side of the floor. I hope my explanations are clear. The problem is I know what I'm saying, but whether I'm explaining it, I don't know. Explain it where you can understand it. If you saw the, if the replay was shown, you'll see where the ball goes into the player on the high post area. The ball came from the right side. He catches it and basically pivots and throws it to the left side, and the player's wide open for the shot. Cisco's not quite getting into their out-of-bounds plays quick enough to really execute what they want to execute as far as getting a quick hitter. They get the ball in bounds anyway. Gonna do a little ball pick left. Left hand push dribble off the dribble. He's gonna go in and attack. Euro. Change back to his right hand. I know he's left-handed. Good job. AJ Bentor giving him some spark here. Almost picked him. Coach Blake Spearing not real thrilled with that. He actually didn't like to push off to begin with when he did a pivot. He stuck out his right arm to sort of gain his balance. Then went up and drew the foul. It was an off-balance shot, too. His, his footwork and his balance is not very good. This is Bryce Rollins, lefty shooting the second of two. Bryce listed at 6'9", 245. Turnover, turnover by the Lobos. They kicked the ball. Actually, they should be got the referee blew the whistle. Because the fact he blew the whistle stopped a fast break. Little discussion over there, who kicked who, who kicked what, how it got kicked, whatever. A lot of who, what, when, and where's. But bottom line is, Siskiyou's Eagles have the ball. Oh, almost a three-pointer. They did a little overload on the left side, threw the lob into the big man. He caught it. Six foot five. Cole from Portland, Oregon, went up, got fouled again. He was off balance, though. So much of the Cisco's players, they, they just, they're, they're, you know, whatever term you want to use, their feet aren't underneath them the way they should be. They're not balanced. That was an off balance shot. Makes both one of two. Six point ball game. Little 2 2 1 press back to a 2 3 zone. Actually gave the Lobos a little bit of trouble last time.
Penetrate and kick. Tried to step in and get to charge. They call him for the block. That was Tanner trying to take the charge. Recipient is Kenneth Brown as he'll go to line to shoot two more. This would be his third and fourth attempts at the line. So he attacks the rim. Hit about every part of the rim possible and goes in. Three for three from the free throw line. This half. Front end of the rim on that one. Not able to capitalize. Kenneth Brown is from Victorville, California. He's a 6'4 freshman. Driving in and drawing the foul. He's Landon Ellis. 6-1 out of Medford, Oregon. Get a shoot two at the line. Both teams attacking the rim quite a bit more aggressively this half. That's five team fouls for Monterey and four for Cisco. So things stay consistent. Looks like both teams will be in the bonus before we're halfway through this half. Makes the second one. Six-point game. No press on that one. Back into their... Yeah, they're in a zone. Sort of a 2-1-2, two, 2-3. Two, two, I mean, you shift your zone depending on where the offense is at. So Three-pointer by Malik Ross. If he gets his feet set, he can shoot the three. Some sort of a set shot three-pointer. So you have to have sometimes if you're a point guard, penetrate, and if they leave you open, be able to shoot a shot. Doesn't have to be a true jump shot. Obviously it helps if it is, but it doesn't have to be. Not quite enough strength on his dribble to his left. Shot a three-pointer off the dribble. There's an open three. Goes out of bounds. Siskus needs to get a bucket here. Bound by nine. Tried to do a one-hand catch pass, bounce pass, and then threw the ball right down by the feet of Bryce Rollins. So not very good execution. I believe that pass was by Landon Ellis. He did a backdoor cut, caught it with his right hand. Basically didn't even catch it, just tried to do a quick push dribble, and the pass was way down by the feet of the big man out of bounds turnover <laughs> there's that penetration Malik Ross puts him up to 11 points Ellis good penetrator or Ross I mean Ross good penetrator sort of a I call that pitter-patter guard, two-hand, a, a, a rebound where you take your left hand, you grab it, then push your right hand, and you end up pushing the ball out of your own hand. You want to grab that ball simultaneously with both hands instead of trying to do a slap. That ball was his. There was nobody else who was going to get it. Outside official calls the foul. Kenneth Brown, working on his attorney skills, says, no way, no way. But guess what? The judge and the jury have the stripes on. So he gets two at the line. 
desperately need the points to stay close. They can't let this game get too much further away from them. First half, they got down 10 and got it back to two, Siskius. I don't think they want to allow Monterey to get too much more of a wider lead. It would be hard to overcome. See if he gives him. He should be on the floor. Yeah. Out of bounds underneath. Box set. Oh, he was so close to being out of bounds, but not. Let's see if they hold on to this one. Tough break for Cisco. He had the rebound, and the ball was bouncing around. And couldn't quite grab it with two, so it goes out of bounds. Monterey ball pretty much in a corner over here. They're just getting it in. Nothing special. Euro right around him. Tried to step in and take the charge. That's the man I was telling you about. They could slash, and he showed us right there. Matthew Gallagher. Good defense by the Lobos. Out of bounds, five seconds on the shot clock. They're going to screen. They're going to get try to get to the ball. And they've got to switch sides. They're going to try to get to the ball in the right corner for a shot. Step through, shot clock winding down. Mr. Hustle, Nick Dory, got the rebound, but then wasn't able to hold on to it, so it went out of bounds. 11 minutes to go. Called it on the floor, be out of bounds. Both teams at six fouls. Next one will be the one and a bonus. Offensive rebound, bucket good. Siskos tried to step in to draw the charge. Didn't get the charge. Now he gets picked. Is he going to give it up or is he going to pass it? Yeah, he did, but he didn't see the defender hustling back. In the corner. Turnover. Both teams hustling on that one. Those are hustle, hustle steals by the defense on both ends. Monterey's quicker when they, if they try to run. It's more an advantage. Didn't shin the ball again. Got the rebound and then just held it out there. And I think number two came and snatched it away from him. Matthew Gallagher. Box set. There's that balance we talked about right there. See, he was wide open. Bryce Fonds, when he shoots, if you if you analyze that really close, he shot. His, 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 he wasn't balanced. His, so he pivots and has a wide open shot and misses it. We got a full timeout by Monterey Peninsula. We're back in a minute. NCS TV. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. City College has the right balance of athletic and academic programs. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've seen. The friendships and connections I made here will last a lifetime. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. I love being a Jaguar. <laughs> The Bay Area is our home, and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. 
Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you'll experience what we have to offer soon. All right, folks, here we are, 53-40 with 9.34 to go in the second half of the ball game. First game of the Percy Carr Classic here at San Jose City College on the campus of San Jose City College. Five o'clock game, next game, host team, San Jose City College will be playing Ohlone College. Seven o'clock game, Allen Hancock will be playing Porterville. Got some good ball games coming up. Driving hard to his right hand, but the shot was blocked. Trying to make something happen was Dylan Newfelt. A little bit of talk, and the referee blows his whistle and says, all right, let's just play some ball. Going to shoot that right-hand hook. Got him with the body. Two shots. Called the foul on Matthew Gallagher. Good looking free throw stroke by Nick Dory. Oh, that one doesn't go, but go ahead and grab the rebound. Nice job. Dribble it right out of bounds. And Nick Dory is a 75% free throw shooter. And guess what? He's made three of his last four. I remember back to my seventh grade math teacher. That's 75%. Mr. Means. Good job, Mr. Means. Appreciate you helping me out back in those good old days. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe he didn't get a foul called on that one. He got a foul called on the last one. Tough. Two shots inside missed. Got to make those close-in ones. Stepped out of my traveled. I thought maybe he stepped out of bounds. But anyway, it's a turnover. Use whatever initials you want. O, B, or T. Out of bounds or travel, and it's a turnover. Dribble rub handoff. Going to be a ball pick. Nope. There's this shooter. Long shot, long rebound. Take another one. Long shot, long rebound. Get another one. Yep, there's the foul. Now they go to the line shoot the bonus. Is that Mr. Hustle? Matt Gallagher? Yeah, Matthew Gallagher. I think it's number three. No, it's Charlie Costa. Both those guys play scrappy. Number 13 stepping into box out, lost his balance. Nothing dirty, just lost his balance and bumped into the shooter after he made his shot. All right. We got a full timeout. We'll be back in a minute with 8.04 to go. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path, one shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College.
All right, here we are, folks, back for the basketball game. College of Cisco's Eagles against Monterey Peninsula Lobos. It's a 10-point lead for Monterey Peninsula with 8.04 to go in the ball game. Game one, three games today, don't forget, so stay tuned with NCS TV. We'll just see two more ball games after this. Next one has San Jose City College playing Aloni at 5 o'clock start time. Yep. Good job. Jump up in the air. No draw the foul. When you're in the paint, you got to jump in the air. There's the power layup. Had a little tough luck the last couple. He missed it, but he got that one to go. We're referencing, of course, Nick Dory. Yeah, this strong right hand. Oh, nice block, but it goes. There's that said, He's scrappy. Charlie Kosser and grabs the rebound after, after it was blocked by Siskius. Yeah, yeah, he knew he fouled him. He put his hands behind his back as soon as he bumped him, trying to let the ref know. Actually, the referee in that situation, it didn't really affect him that much. You should let him play on. But they're going to get the bonus. They've been calling it that way the whole game. I guess they're not going to change. Landon Ellis at the line, 73% free throw shooter. Makes the first. All right, they're coming back to their 2 3 zone. May as well shoot the little free throw jumper. He says, If you're not going to guard me, went in there twice, kicked it back out the second time, and they threw it back in. Kenneth Brown just says, okay, I'll shoot it if you don't want to guard me. Picks up his 14th and 15th point of the game. Another power layup missed. Got it inside where he wanted it. Referee's talking. I think they're trying to decide whether it be a shooting foul or, yeah, it's out of bounds. Uh, stepping in and taking the charge. Monterey likes to penetrate and kick, penetrate and kick. That time the help man got in there soon enough to draw the foul. Oh, he's had enough. He called a T on the coach. He goes, I've heard enough. That'll probably settle Monterey. That'll probably settle Blake down just a little bit now. <laughs> There'll be two and the ball. For those that are aware of the fact, the uh, California Community College decorum rules, if you get ejected from a game, that's the, the nice uh, politically correct term for saying kicked out. If you get kicked out of a game for any reason, uh, you have to serve a one-game suspension. So, say, for instance, Blake gets his second tech. If you get two technicals, you're kicked out of a ball game. So if the head coach would get a second technical, he would have to leave the floor, and then he would not be able to be at the next game. Now, the worst part about that rule is if you get ejected a second time, you're done for the season. So it... Uh, Calms you down really quick. Looks like Coach Spearing's gone over behind the bench now and relacing his shoes like he's ready to go in. Now he's, now he's going to stand up and just cheer but not talk much to make sure he doesn't get that second one. I thought that was going to happen to me once in my career. I, I said, I'm not going to say anything more because I don't want to get a second tee. And the ref way on the other side of the court kicked, kicked me out. Interestingly enough, it was for me, I guess. It was my first season at a job, and we we're only four games into the season. If I'd have gotten 
So I got kicked out that game, had to sit the next. And I tell you what, the rest of the year, I was not the normal coach people had seen in my career. I didn't say a whole lot the rest of the year. It wouldn't have been real good to be uh, ejected twice and not be able to coach your last 15, 18 games first year on a new job. So anyway, interesting rule. Um, I think there should be some appeal processes because sometimes there could be some very unique situations that would not require someone to be kicked out. But anyway, back to live action. There's a live three-pointer, and he hits it. Sort of a set three, brings it up behind his head and pops it in. Eight points. Let's see if Cisco shows a little life here with 5.15 to go. Wide open three, missed it to the right. Big possession here, Cisco. They come down, score another one, get a little momentum. Get it to the guy who just made one. Oh, there's a wide open three. Not, nobody on the boards. Timeout, Monterey Peninsula. We'll be back in a moment. Looks like a. Full timeout. Full timeout. Coming to San Jose City College is one of the best decisions I've ever made. City College has the right balance of athletic and academic programs. City College has some of the best sports facilities I've seen. The friendships and connections I made here will last a lifetime. I know this experience will help me when I transfer to a four-year college. I love being a Jaguar. Yay. The Bay Area is our home, and it's our privilege to help when and where we can. Mosaic Global Transportation is about so much more than just getting you where you need to go. Our passionate and professional chauffeurs drive the amazing experience that safely connects and mobilizes our clientele. We hope you'll experience what we have to offer soon. All right, here we are, back for the last 4.42 to go. It's Monterey ball out of bounds, up 59 to 51. Cisco is back in their zone. It's a matchup zone. Looks like this is a little more of a 1-2-2. Try to show just a little bit different look. But basically they're matching up. Actually, it looks like they're playing man now. It's, it's such a matchup, I can't tell. But you know what? Just solve the problem. Solve the problem, Kenneth. Give me the ball and I'll make a three. Smooth three, like a, like a practice three-pointer. There was nobody on him. Held that ball in the corner, minor A bench. He said, you know what, we'll just go trap him. And so the old schoolyard guy, he throws the ball off his foot, out of bounds, Cisco's ball. There's it. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot the three. A runner. No good. Now they're going back to two three zone. Let's see if they get it into Parker. They're coming down on him. He does a nice job of kicking it really quick. They're gonna get another one. I don't even know if he knew it. I disagree with that one. He's the outside official. The only problem with that is, is I had a better angle than him. I was actually straight to see what was going on. He was behind the inside official, didn't call foul, but either way. There's an old saying in basketball, I guess. And maybe maybe it's an old saying, but if you're not sure, don't call it. That can't be any way, shape, or form. He was positive on that one. There was a lot of swatting, though. I guarantee you that. There was guys swatting around. So I could see why he might call that. It puts him up at 20 points. We're talking about Kenneth Brown, that is. Oh, the alley ooping? The alley oops it?
One four set. Dribble rub handoff, screen across, up top. And one. Gets a chance to go to the line and make another one. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. The ref didn't see it. I had the perfect angle. Uh, see, you got you got to make those. You got to make those. Cisco's missing way too many putbacks. They, they, they got quick feet or whatever you want to call it. They're just they're shooting off balance. They're they're bothered by the size and quickness of Monterey. Out of bounds. 2.28 to go. Got a long ways to go, Cisco. You better make something happen right here. Dribble off his foot, went right to his own teammate's hand. Put a little pressure on him, cause a turnover. AJ Bentor caused the turnover. Two minutes to go. Out of bounds underneath. That shot three, not his strength. He can make it when he's open, but didn't quite get balanced enough on that one. Three-pointer, timeout, Eagles. 18 points for Dylan. Growing up, I thought basketball was my best path, one shot to success. At San Jose City College, that all changed. My mentors saw more in me than I saw in myself and showed me that I could be anything. No one in my family had ever graduated from college, but I knew I had an obligation for future generations. At San Jose City College, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you set out to be. Discover your brilliance at San Jose City College. Here we are out of bounds, putting the press on. Needed foul. They're going to play the free throw game here for a few seconds. It will be, uh, this is the ninth team foul, so quiz you now. This is like uh, those quiz games that you get to play all the holidays with the family. This is the ninth foul, so is this a one and one, or is this a double bonus? Five, four, three, two, one. It's a one and one, remember. Seven, eight, and nine are one and ones. Ten and on are double bonus. So he'll shoot a one and a bonus. And he hits nothing but the bottom of the net. That's Matthew Gallagher. Gets the second one. Makes them both. 
69-56, 1.37 to go. Open three, are you kidding me? 21 for the man, he can shoot that triple. Now he's got five or six this game. 10 point game, they got two seconds, they got it across just in time. And now, now will be number team foul number 10, so two shots. First one bounces in and out. Here comes the second one. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Good hustle, but Cisco's not giving up on the play. Brown not able to hold on to it, so it'll be out of bounds. Siskus. Oh, a little back screen, the corner man, wide open. They didn't know how to switch that one. Got the right spot. Looks like they're not going to foul now. They're just going to try to play aggressive. Shouldn't be any reason to foul now. There's under 10 seconds. Coach Spearing over there telling the referee, better be careful, Blake, to give you that other T. <laughs> 25 seconds to go. Long shot, not good. They're just gonna wind it out now. Dribble it out and get this thing over with. Looks like the final's gonna be 70 to 61. That'll move Monterey Peninsula to 11 and one. It'll drop Siskius to five and nine. Next ball game, don't forget, starts at 5 o'clock. San Jose City College coming with a record of 9-2. and two. We'll be playing Ohlone College record of 8-4. and four. Should be an exciting basketball game starting at 5 o'clock. Don't forget, 7 o'clock game, Allen Hancock playing Porterville College. Allen Hancock comes with a record of 6-4. and four. Porterville's 5-6. and six. So we have two more good ball games. NCS TV will be bringing it to you shortly. So come back in 20 minutes for the next ball game. This is Denny I signing off right now with Joseph Yanez as my uh, producer. We look forward to seeing you at the next ball game.